Yes! Biggest of the day right yes. there. Careful, careful. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode, ladies and gents. Check us out. We are in the garage setting up the John boat for its second ever launch. And would you look at the conditions? It is not pouring, but it's raining. And with that, Pond Boys and myself thought, what better day to get out than this day, right? In fact, this might be him calling me right now. What's the word? It, it's kind of raining pretty hard out here. I don't know if this is going, this is going to be worth it. I don't know. It might, certainly, it might certainly not be worth it. I'm just over here in the garage living it up. You tell me. We might get there and be like, this was a bad idea. Right. Bye. Dope. Okay, so Palm Boys is on his way. We're rigging some things up. I have some secrets for you guys. You may have seen it in an Instagram post. We're actually, probably by the time this video goes up, we'll have hit 100,000 followers. I say that because I'm like backlogged. I have so much stuff to edit. I don't know when this video is going up. But it, regardless, second trip out on the John boat today. It is going to be a ton of fun. I hope you guys really enjoyed the first launch with that little champagne toast kind of deal. Check us out, you guys. Go Mexis handles on the reels. They sent us a lot of them. They really hooked us up. I have some different colors too. Check this out. This is for the big tranks, y'all. We got a fat set with the pink knobs. But what I'm most excited about is these Guggen Green ones right here. We'll just call it Guggen Green. It's a little different shade, but it goes excellent with the Guggen Green rods. That's probably all I'm gonna set up today and fish. And we're gonna try and catch some fish in the rain for you guys today. I don't have a bilge pump on here, so if a lot of water gets in here, I think we're literally just screwed. But regardless, we're gonna try and make things happen for you guys and boat flip some giants today. We're going to a spot where we've caught a handful of decent sized fish, so let's see what happens. Are you supposed to unplug it from the battery first or unplug it from the wall first? I'm just gonna unplug it from the wall. Okay, so that just turned off, so now I'm gonna unplug it from the battery. I, th I think you, I don't know what order you're supposed to do it, if there's a specific order or if it really matters, but yeah, she's charged. Put that right there next to the kayak batteries. Free up some space. I'm gonna have a link to these handles down in the description if you guys wanna check out Gomexis. They're like an affordable option to the original handles I had, those DRTs. All right, so I got another pair of the Gomexis handles. I just asked him for a bunch of green ones and he's like, sure, super nice guy to work with. I figured we could showcase these handles for you guys and some videos. It comes with all the hardware needed for left-handed reels or right-handed reels, stuff that you'd have to buy separately if you went with the manufacturer that sold us the other handles. Um, yeah, it's got all the goodies. So all I needed on the Shimano's was a small screwdriver, like a flathead and then a 10 millimeter socket. This is a Daiwa. I imagine it's going to be the same. These might be for Shimano's only. I just realized that. Yeah, that's right. I told him I had all Shimano's. So, okay, this isn't going to fly. Well, we thought we were showcasing Gomexis on the Daiwa's, but it's just going to be the Shimano's, which is perfectly fine to me. I just wanted to show you guys the handles on a, a, a black reel. I'm probably just gonna take three rods. I've got a go-to rod over here so I can throw just about anything on it. Might do like a Texas rig or something to start or a jig. And then I'm gonna have two moving baits. So the Saucy Swimmer is gonna be on a muscle rod here and then a crankbait on this reaction rod. I think we can find them on a moving bait today. The rain might have them turned off and so I'm gonna bring that go-to for a little Texas rig action. But we'll see how they're feeling when we get there. Oh my gosh, so Yo. Happy, <laughs> So, dude, it's like next level unstable. Really? Oh yeah, just wait. We'll have fun. Now cut it towards, towards me. That's actually perfect. Is it bottoming out right here? <laughs> oh yeah! Is it bottoming yeah. out? Yeah. <laughs> it might not. Oh, perfect! When you thought you'd seen it all. <laughs> oh, wow. like, a little too late for that. Careful, Yo. careful, careful. Do I need to not go right uh, Oh, you're good, you're good. I'm just two. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, on, All right, in a 10 minute ordeal trying to hit this ramp, we have made it happen. First thing we're gonna have to deal with is some stumps. I gotta plug everything in. We're gonna get the rods on here. We gotta unstrap it and then we're literally in the water. Thank you guys for sticking around at this point. Let's get this video to 2000 likes on them Gomexis handles that are looking so clean right there. So clean in the Guggen right, Green. See. I'm excited, bro. We're gonna get on them. We're gonna get on them. Dude, look at this. Look at this job. Look That's at this beautiful. job, man. That's beautiful. <laughs> was, uh, I think you did, bro. I think you messed something up, bro. That was Devin. She hit the house. <laughs> okay, it was me. So this is actual 
absolutely crazy. But as soon as we get here, it stopped raining. It just started sprinkling a little bit more, but man, if we can stay dry, that would be all right with me. The rain jacket, the rain pants and everything on the boat, just in case, because you never know what's gonna happen. It might end up pouring, but at least then we'll be better prepared for the occasion. Definitely gotta get in here and plug in our power. Boom, power's plugged in. We got the flotation devices. Feels pretty dry in here. Tackle box action, little terminal tackle, camera bag with the scale, the pliers. Yeah. <laughs> right? All right, we're gonna try and back it in now. It might just lean way to the right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, you literally just pull this apart. It's a, I don't know about this system. I don't know if I trust that. Check this out. Easy. Quit lying. We wasted so much time trying to drop this in on the first launch, dude. Let's do it. Look at this. I gotta get a photo. And this might be once in a lifetime right here. Oh no, it ain't it ain't that bad. We're taking all did you put the plug in? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Stable, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, so stable. Dude, you're a son. There it goes. God dang. You have me scared, bro. What do you want to throw first? I might put this rain jacket on. Yay. We got the Johnny. <laughs> Turn my swag on. Daiwa with no line on the spool. Perfect. Hey, check me out. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Shut up. Nah, not f***ing with you. <laughs> nah, not f***ing with you. Yo. Yeah. Dude, if you don't have the perfect Jamba. Let me crank her up, baby. <laughs> Woo. Now just watch out for stumps. <laughs> Honestly, for two or three grand, you can probably find one that's got a lot more as far as dollars spent, I was cool with fifteen hundred. I'm like, all right. Yeah. On. He's on. Oh, giant! It was huge, dude. That was huge. Biggest dink I've ever seen. <laughs> all right. Spinner bait, pulling through. First one in the boat, bro. Yes. Yes. Ooh, number two, doubled up. It's not big. I feel like it's story time. Rainy day without spot lock, but. We got us a couple. All right, let's get him back in the water. We got fish to catch. I'm sorry ahead of time for all this rain on you guys. Try and make a living out here filming some videos for you guys. Oh, oh, oh. Now, hold on a minute. No size yet. Yep, yep, yep. God dang. Bass number three on the hook. Gomex's handle's feeling good. We gotta find them bigs though. We're gonna switch it up now that we're moving a little faster down this bank with the wind at our backs. So I'm gonna toss the, wow, this setup feels so much different. A little bit longer rod, right hander. That spinner bait, you gotta like work real quick if you're going towards it. So I'm gonna switch it up to this crank, cover some water a little bit faster. It'll get deeper, faster. Throwing it on the reaction rod, slower tip for the treble hooks. If y'all are looking for a new crank rod, grab your reaction. The link is in the description for all the Guggen Squad rods. Throwing it on a Corrado 200, it's got that larger spool size so you can really bomb cast and work that crankbait through as much water as possible. 12 pound fluorocarbon is best for cranks if you're just fishing open water to help it get to its diving depth, but I think I got this on like 15 pound fluorocarbon because we're usually throwing around some thick stuff and I just like the extra strength reassurance. Oh, 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 got him, got him, got him. He's swimming towards me or he's very small. I was about to say, that was probably 10 casts in on the crankbait. Just hang oh, I just hit a stunt. Oh, I think I had a, I got something. I got something. Okay, dude, they're smashing cranks. Stay safe when possible. Dude, nothing over two pounds for me yet. At least you're getting the like, ones that are a little bigger than me. Come on, give me like a two pounder. Nope, I don't know why. Dude, this water feels so warm, I'm about to jump in. It feels like a jacuzzi. <laughs> Shallow diver. Oh, he grabbed it. Oh, wait, dude. Oh, something just grabbed it, but uh, came off after I got the grass off. It started wiggling again, and then I felt the weight, and I saw him flash, but he didn't get hooked good. Dude, fishing fast. I haven't thrown a square bill on cotton numbers in a while, but it was like one of my original confidence baits. Just like always a shallow diving square bill. I could get snagged 10 times and lose five of them in a day and I would just be like, yep, I guess this is the best way to fish ponds. You'll notice I'm keeping the rod tip up too as I like first start cranking it because I don't want it to dive down as deep because it's much shallower as you get close to the reeds and then I'll drop the rod tip as I get a little bit closer to the boat. Wow, I just had one, I was fighting one just then. <sighs> and, uh, and then I'll lower the rod tip as it gets a little bit closer to me because it gets a little deeper. Is this a fish? I was gonna say, if that was, it felt good, but that's just grass right there. Yeah, catch a tree. Oh, there we go. There's one. Man, they are tiny today. I mean, for me. Y'all gotta watch Torrance's video. He's catching all the big fish. 
Oh no, oh no, oh, that's not good at all. Well, there's a first for everything. Probably no more fish on that stump. Oh, something just happened. Do I have a fish on? I do, he's swimming towards me. Dude, I can't even tell. That was the softest crankbait bite ever. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, there he is, there we go. Okay, come on, side, come on, two. Come on, this guy. All right, bud, first respectable fish, probably two pounds. Thank goodness. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut out some bites with the swim bait. Oh, there it is. That's gotta be a good one. Come on, switch it up. Switched it over to the swim bait. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one. Cool. Got the muscle rock. Get in the boat, son. Yeah. Look at him with that five pounder. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hey, can we spot lock this location, please? Yes. <laughs> Making it happen, dude. Bro. We found one on the swim bait. You caught one back to back, doubled up on the uh, swim jig. I think we found the big, uh, the big fish getters. You know, slightly underneath those little guys. Here you go. Oh, appreciate that. Here. Hold up. Got it. Got it. <laughs> hey. Cheers! Hey, <laughs> That's the second fish on the budget bait caster, guys. It was actually the biggest one I've caught today. This man, just capturing the fish. If I break off, this is my only one, but dude, I'm telling you, like, there's nothing better. I had to crank in so much slack. <laughs> dude! Come on, big zombie. Big zombie on the twin bait. Oh, heck! What just happened? This one ain't even worth catching, man. Come on! And mine just take the hook. Dude, it's a dream! It's a dream! <laughs> Got him, got him. Wow, first one in a while. Psych! <laughs> he was on for a second. Look, the bird said, oh, we gotta get out of here, boys. <laughs> I can't tell if they are hunting or fishing. We gotta go. Wow, this battery pack is so good. Come on. What do we got here? I'm, I'm curious. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes! Yeah. Biggest of the day right yeah. there. Bring it home. Yeah. Biggest of the day. Yo! Ah. Oh, right up ah. in the grass. Right in the grass. Literally hit the tree. Yep, you were on it. Oh yeah. my. <laughs> All right, guys, caught this bad boy in the swim jig. As soon as it hit that weed line, just instant hook set, man. I threw some braid on here just because I didn't want to deal with it. But yes, look at that fish. Biggest fish of the day. The weather is against us right now, but the one thing that isn't against us is the fact that nobody else is out here fishing. So is this not awesome that we're out here in the rain in the John boat? This is my first time on the John boat. How many times have you been on here? This is, this is my second outing. Oh, second outing. So pleasure to be out here. We got rain gear on, you know, no worries. The only thing is my GoPro, I don't really want to mess with it with the mod on there. But other than that, we got a really nice fish, man. Look at that, super healthy. We're gonna get a couple pictures with it and then we're gonna let her go. <laughs> All right, y'all, we crushed it. I caught a big fish that I hope was on camera. I think it was, you'll know at this point at least. Torrance wrapped it up with a big fish, and now we're gonna try probably the hardest endeavor of the day, which is loading the John boat up. I don't know if I trust this rope. We're definitely gonna get a new one of these guys right here, this whole cranking setup, and then another one of these guys for the boat to rest against, but for now, we are making ends meet. It gets interesting! Well, that's what the 1500 bucks gets you. Let's crank this thing up and try and pull her out, boys. We took on some water. Oh, that's dude. from the rain. Let me try and. Yeah. You. And with that, y'all, we had an absolute blast catching a ton of fish. You guys have absolutely got to check out Pond Boys for joining me on what most people would not even get out in these rainy conditions. It's definitely put a damper on most people's fishing in the DFW Metroplex, but we chose to get out and we actually caught a handful. A couple bigs in the mix. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Let us know where you want to see us launch the John Boat next time. Looks like she's almost empty and ready for the next adventure, y'all. We'll catch you then. Peace.